Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you for joining this amazing community. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to reach out to you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so because that's really going to help me in improving this amazing community. Today I'm also going to be walking you through the new UI that Unity provided on version 2018.3.0 Alpha 3. And this Alpha version is really, really cool because they actually overhaul the entire UI. And it's the reason why I wanted to show you that in this video. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you the new UI system and how it looks when you open the editor. The, so as you can tell, there's a lot of changes made to the UI on version 2018.3. It actually looks really cool. I like the flat style. I know a lot of people don't like that style, but I think it keeps the style of the UI pretty clean. I, I'm going to show you just different sections and we can we can go through together and determine what some of the things that were added. I, I haven't gone through the whole thing, but some of the things to notice right now is that the game objects now have, you know, an icon, a little icon. It looks very minimalistic. You can now, if I select the, the main camera, go into the inspector, everything is flat. I mean, if you look at the, if you look at the inspector components, also some of the options they they went through and and redid most of the most of the ui also the icons have changed so if you look at that icon this icon it's just just a lot different than than it used to be and you can look at the audio listener that also has like a earphones and it's also also flat i'm not really digging the scroll bar i think it's a little stretch and, and this is probably because it's an alpha alpha version so the other things that you can notice also the prefab change. So if you look at the prefab, it's you know it's still blue, but it has a different icon. So if I go in and let's say that I wanted to modify this prefab, we can see if that changed at all. I can click on open, and we can see that we have all the different components. You still have your header, kind of like your header component telling you that this is your workshop set. So if I go back down, that's basically you know some of the different things that you can see in the in the hierarchy other things that i that i actually really like is some of the icons that they have under the assets so if i click on materials you can see that the icons in the materials they look really cool and we can resize this and looks at the resizing of the icons they haven't they haven't added the icons for other resolutions so but if you go all the way down you can see the icon that they're going to be having if i click on models models are also pretty interesting they have like this kind of Lego Lego style icon. I also can look at the the paintbrush, the the brush. In this case, this is gonna be the the mesh. And if I look at this one, so I guess these ones are the materials, and then this one is the actual mesh. So you can kind of see, you know, this is another model, and then you have the meshes, which is you know a grid. You can now look at the a snapshot of what we're looking at on the very bottom. So if I click on the brush. And this was already available in previous versions of Unity. It just, you know, it looks a little bit different because of the flat style that Unity added. And if I go to the construction light, I can also, I can also look at that. And then, you know, and so on. So those icons are, are really, really cool. So if I go back, let's look at how prefabs look like. And it looks like this is thinking. There we go. So prefabs, just like I show you right from the hierarchy, they also have these blue icon cube if i go under textures let's see if they added anything different under textures so textures just look the same that they used to look you still get the little you know the little sprite snapshot and let's go into props and the same thing with some of the prop textures these ones look the same so let me look at some of the settings so these icons were already available in previous versions so this is for the high definition rendering pipeline that i'm using with 2018.3.0 and then it looks everything looks just really clean you can see the icons across the top also the search really clean you can search you can also search from the hierarchy and most of everything here is flat now if we go and look at the game view and the editor view you you know still it's still flat all the way across so you can see the Gizmos. So this is something that I really like. I, I really like how it looks. You still have the little icons for things that you want to toggle. If you want to toggle 
a gizmos that's still all available. Looks like most of these icons are also the same. The, the slide bars are also, they're a little bit different based on the, the new UI. UI. Looks like they're also flat. And then looks like most of everything here is pretty much the same. So also everything across here is just you know, flat as well. And let's see what else we can we can look at. So the game view at the, at the same time it has you know this flat look for the sliders. So we can slide in, slide slide out, and then also some of these controls. You can look at the gizmos from this side as well. And if we go here, we still have the load resolution as per ratios are still all available, and then all the icons across the top for for some of the the transformation shortcuts are also available here looks like we get a new icon for the pivot and I don't remember having that on the previous versions looks like a little bit different and then global and local and then most of your common you know rotate tool the scale tool and all of those so so it's kind of an overview of, of what your you know how the how the UI is gonna look the the other thing that I want to show you is I want to show you how windows look so if I click on build settings Build settings change quite a bit. You can see that most of the icons, they don't have colors. In previous versions, they had different colors depending on the on the logo that the platform provided. These ones are pretty much gray for the most part. And then, which which I kind of like, I, I like standardization. I think it, it makes it makes Unity look more polished. I, I feel like I want to run Unity and I want to see it in multiple screens because it just looks beautiful and clean. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's, this icon still, it has, you know, dif different look and feel. I'm not sure if they're gonna be changing it, but it shows you the active platform that you have selected. And then of course, if you have Lumin and TVOS, some of these ones are, you know, are, are available based on your installation. But the icons look cool. I think this looks great too. And I think, yeah, I think that the toolbars on the very top, this, this bar looks, yeah, they look similar all the way across. So I think they went they went with a you know a more flat style. You have a little corner on the on the edges, and then you know the common. In this case, I'm using a Mac OS, so that's these are the common operating system buttons for the Windows. So I'll just go ahead and close that. Let me go into one more thing, and then we can we can wrap it up. The so the preferences, and this is going to be a window that you know we we use quite a bit. And it's also it's also flat, and everything else is gonna be flat. Let me go back. There we go. So we have multiple controls in here, just like we had before. The the thing that I had a couple of people ask me because I posted about this in Twitter is can can I change the font? And as of now, I haven't found a way to change the font, other than well, let me let me just reinstate that I can change the font, but I can't change the size. That's what they were asking for. So I can change the font to Lucida Grande, and you can see that that changes. And I have two options, Roboto, Roboto, and then, which is the one that comes by default, and you also have Lucida Grande. And I'm not sure if this differs based on operating system. I'm gonna have to test in my PC. But these are the options that, that I see here. You can still change your editor theme from, you know, from professional to personal, if you like to, if you like the lighter color. And I'm gonna stick with the dark color. I really like that. And just you know, just so you know that you can change the editor font. And I'll look and see if you can change the font size. I I'm gonna say no at this time because if I if Unity Unity were to provide that, I don't know that the controls will look will look good. There might be a way, but I'm not sure as of this time. So this is basically you know how Windows look like. You can still you know dock these windows if you want to in different areas you have just as a you know as an overview we still have you know flat icons all the way across flat icons everywhere we also have new icons on the hierarchy also on the project and i think unity did an amazing job on making everything look really really clean so i'm going to wrap it up thank you guys all right guys thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions please let me know also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers and find me in patreon where i'm basically posting information about what i'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code thank you guys